Alright, share love tea here, and welcome to episode 4 of our Let's Build series. So here we are on a new map with some stuff that I've built recently. I've got the little space cadet from 3D Pinball Space Cadet. Made it into a little rideable cart. We've got a bear. Big old grizzly bear. Tried to put a lot of horns on them to give them some extra details. We have got a good old Iago. R.I.P. to Gilbert Gottfried. Then. We've got a little slug from Commander King. This is an old DOS game. And we also did the dopey looking tree. Up next we have got a helicopter. So this was uh, definitely a more complicated build that was took a lot of trial and error with the, the different props and pieces. You can see here I had a nose but it's all kind of like makeshift. And we got the cockpit, a couple of chairs in the back. We re reuse the propeller from the top to make a little double propeller here on the back. And then last up we've got this building from SimCity 2000. So you can see we got a little glass tube kind of like an elevator that you can take up to the glass dome or biodome whatever you want to call it. waterfall inside which if you look really close you can see there's a waterfall here on this rock and yeah recently I've been on a, a kick quote unquote researching for games playing pinball and looking up documentaries looking up uh, top level play um, also been checking out a couple Roblox games a couple and between making videos for for core games and just making video content it takes a long time to upload it and to if I have to edit pieces together it takes a long time to load it in the editor so it's very time consuming, a lot more time consuming than I initially ha had thought. But we'll get there in the end. So what I had decided was, since I had been kind of slacking off playing pinball, <coughs> I'd, do, I'd make a challenge for myself. So I did a one hour challenge where I had to beat, get the first on the leaderboard on as many tables of out of the eight tables that I owned in the five minute challenge so if you look up on my channel there's another video called pinball effects five minute challenge so that's the video I'm referring to so I ended up with a first on two out of the eight tables I would have had a third except um, I got disconnected from the internet and the score didn't upload properly but anyways we went with with two so that that meant I had to make six different things for the community content this week so this was the six random things I ended up choosing oh I didn't even know I could spin it like that um so yeah that was the six random things that I chose 
the slug was kind of like a bonus thing. And we're gonna get to building, so we're gonna hop over and load recent. Uh, don't save. And what we got planned is a giraffe. Which I meant to check. We'll, we'll double check here. If if somebody else hasn't already done a giraffe. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we're going to go with a giraffe. So some cool events going on right now. Uh, we got a Summer Bash event on Core. Um, looks like there was a um, what was a live concert or something coming up too. So they're definitely always at work trying to make stuff interesting and have events for people to participate in. There's a bunch of different skins you could get for for t for participating so we're definitely gonna do a couple of videos trying to get some skins trying to try out the different games and such so keep an eye out for that for sure all right so we're gonna start with this head since that'll probably be most of the detail so we're gonna collapse this Make sure we're scrolled down to the bottom. We're gonna grab our avocado. That'll probably be a good start for the shape of his head. Like that. So we're gonna wanna build a bit big and then and then come back down in size after. Alright, that looks good. Looks good for a start. Okay. Now one thing you you notice, I don't know, uh, I feel like a lot of the time when people uh, reimagine drafts, they don't put this bump here on their head. Because it is kind of odd looking. Really, like when you look at pictures of some drafts, they really have a prominent bump here. Um, so, their horns aren't exactly pointy. So we're probably going to want to use something like rounded and it looks like they're kind of like, you know, we're probably going to want to use like a double bean or something like that. So his kind of like bump is probably around here, his horns, probably near the top of the back here. I'm going to mirror this. Oh, that's probably not what I wanted to do. But. That looks about right. What we're probably going to want to do is put something on the tip here because you can see it has an alteration of color. It goes to like black at the at the tip. 
but that looks alright for now. I'm going to copy both those beans. We're going to make them into a merged model containing those. Mirror it on the X. Put a minus to switch it over to this other side. Our zero point is halfway exactly here. Unwrap that. Alright, what are we going to use for that lump? Because I kind of want to have it just because it is a weird feature that clearly they all have but it is kind of ugly looking so I think that's why people usually tend to leave it out So I'm just adjusting it to see see what side looks best. All right, that's that's decent. Um, next, I guess we'll do his nostrils. I'm thinking, actually, we'll do the mouth first. For the mouth, we're just going to want to have a closed mouth. So we don't need an inside. So we're just going to do some lips for him. So I'm definitely not saying anybody should punish themselves if uh, if you find yourself slacking. But it is a good way to motivate yourself to. That's the way I was looking at it. Just doubled up the bean. Give him a pair of lips there. Okay, nostril, nostril. <coughs> what if we can't use something like that? Make it way smaller. I don't know. So we'll see. I'm, I'm, we'll see. I'm not sure how how the music's gonna turn out on this one. Normally I have it on headphones. I have it on speaker right now. It's a little nicer to not have to have the headphones on. Okay. Okay. This looks like the right shape for, for the shape of the nostril anyway, like the dark part. So maybe we could use this as the dark part and then kind of build around it a little bit.
one thing that's going to be important is how are we going to get this the pattern so I'm going to just try here actually I'm going to take a look at our materials I'm thinking with the cactus material we might be able to pull off these we're going to have to do some customization obviously but pretty sure we could get We should be able to get a um, somewhat like a draft pattern out of this. Uh, yeah, so this is where we're gonna want to have it dark for the spot. Actually, we shouldn't mess around with it in here. We can mess around with it on this screen here after if we wanted. We don't want a gradient because that uh, that'll affect the the spots as well. It'd be nice to get rid of these dots and just have the patches, but I'm not sure if we can pull that off. roughness all the way up for sure Maybe be a bit darker. around with this a little bit. Okay, we definitely want bigger patches. Well. Whoa, get out of here with those numbers. That seems that seems like it could do the job. Definitely not perfect, but not the worst either. a little bit better because there were almost it was too straight if you have the tiling perfect here okay so we're just gonna revert all this for now now we know that we have a material that works actually. I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna mirror it. Take the minus.
this out of there. So, the front of his mouth would be kind of rounded out like that, but since we don't want to have a separate object for it, we just want to kind of cheat those shapes by giving a, some indentation there. Um, might kind of want to do that under So anytime you see these arrows switch directions, that's because I'm pressing T on the keyboard. Uh, if you want to do that manually, that would be, yeah, right here, toggle world local space. eyeballs next so they're pretty far up his head Probably around there. And really off to the side. that sphere. I'm going to go down to the mesh. I'm going to put a half thin on it. Grab the white cube, make it all a little bigger. Rotate it backwards. I might want to go a little to the side. copy paste it we're gonna mirror it on the Z I'll take this forward a little bit I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller this one's gonna be 
just that black trim along the bottom. This, this here. <coughs> so that's his eyelid. And then he has kind of this big bump. So we're going to copy this once again. I'm going to have one for his eyelid and then We place this just right. Uh, uh, that seems alright. Might want to rotate this back a little bit. Decent enough. Copy those. Then we're gonna make the new ones into a merged model. We're gonna mirror it on the X. Put a minus in there. Get it on the other side. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. He was starting to look like a donkey to me. Can't be having that. He ain't no donkey. Um, I'm gonna make these into a group. This should be out a little further. Next up, we want to do the ears. That should go a long way in really giving some character here, making it look more like a like we want it to. Um, this clay form looks pretty good for the shape. Definitely don't want to spend all your time scrolling up and down these menus, but every once in a while, it's good to just scroll through, let your mind wander a little bit, take a little break. Let your mind imagine some different shapes. But yeah, I think we're going to go with this clay form. like right behind his eye, just above his eye and start bottom yeah yeah that looks good. That's probably right 
So I'm thinking we're gonna wanna... I mean, there's kind of like a ridge all the way around with a hollow. But I think if we give it a top ridge, we could kind of cheat. Cheat that it looks a little bit hollow in there. So I'm thinking a bean. A bean will do with a job here. I want to do that along the bottom too. Probably it's enough, probably just with the top. I want these tilted for just a little bit. Just unwrap this eyeball, grab our two earpieces, copy them, make them into a merge model temporarily, mirror it on the X, remove that minus, get our ear on the other side. Looking pretty good so far. Um, we might want to get more of a jaw shape here. Uh, what could we use? That just worked out perfectly, how about that? Uh, sometimes you just happen to be in the right spot. Alright, what do we want? I still kind of want to put a little bit of a tip here on the, on the tippy tips. Maybe it's one of these. I like it. I like it. Hey Mikey, he likes it. Yeah. 
I mean, if you really wanted to get all out, there's all these little hairs. There's like a lot of little details. You could do like, for, for this hair here, you could use some beans or some horns, like a ton of little ones. But that depends on how much detail you want to put. I feel, I feel like once you have the majority of it built and then you start putting materials on, then you'll kind of know if you need more detail or not or if you can kind of keep it simplified. Like for now, I, I think I'm going to not put hairs there, but we'll see how, how it turns out. I might, I might change my mind later on. So I think, I think that's pretty much the head. So we're going to grab this. And we're going to grab our two happy little giraffes. I don't know if they're happy or about to duke it out. Hard to tell. Man, are they... Their fights are violent. Oof. Watching them whip their necks and heads at each other. And sometimes they snap their necks. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, such a nice looking animal, but... Jeez, could they be violent. Alright. Um... What is his neck? What do you think? An avocado? Just a really long avocado. Probably. Yes, it's sometimes it's good to have multiple reference pictures too. Like this one shows their body pretty good, but you know, if I wanted his head, you want a, a little bit closer in picture. Wow. This is gonna definitely have to be way taller. Um, so yeah, I think Probably what we want his head about as low as this lower branch because he wants to get those leaves That's you know This poor tree he, he used to have so many leaves and then this draft came along ate them all on him Okay, so this I don't want to have it a bit wider this way And I'm coming up close to due for a break, so you guys will definitely notice a music skip in a little bit. Hmm. Alright, so that looks pretty good for his neck. Like this bottom part will be inside, inside here, so you won't really n notice it. I mean, peppers and avocados are just often the best shape for for bodies. I think I'm gonna try a pepper. Hmm. 
Why is it hard to keep a date with a pepper? Because they always ghost you. Oh. I'm sorry, I just came up with that joke. I just figured I'd throw it out there. Like I said, big, it's probably, I would imagine it has like a big front half. It's got to carry this huge neck, right? It's hard to tell. Or is it just the stomach that's kind of big, bulgy? Hmm. Cause that kind of looks all right though. Once we have the legs thrown on, you won't notice this, uh, pointy end part all right for now we're gonna take a quick pause so catch you on the next music track all right, so we got his head, his neck, and his body so far. I'm going to continue on with his legs. So what have we got? Probably avocado. We're also going to want to pull out our reference picture again. This leg goes back and then forwards. Alright, my computer is having a little hard time keeping up. Oh. I copy this one more time.
that's about right. I know it has a, I think a hoof, kind of like a, probably like a deer. Like two toes. Two big old toes. probably going to want a piece that kind of blends with these two that comes up a little bit. Well, we'll get there eventually. So we're gonna grab all our like pieces here. We're gonna copy them. We're gonna make them into a merge model. Mirror it on the X axis. Take that minus out of there. Get it on the other side. And I was also looking at the materials, I think when we get to that, we might also try um, this camouflage, one of these camouflage uh, materials, we might be able to customize to get what we want. Because I don't really like the way the cactus, it gives us the spots we want, but we don't really want those little lights. Our little round bumps. Now, do I want to get cheaty and just... Maybe I just want to cheat this back leg a little bit. Probably going to want to make this piece a little bit bigger. Just a little bit smaller. Yeah, about there. We're gonna want to rotate this a little bit because the front leg is a little bit higher.
copy that. And mirror it to the other side. Might as well unwrap these now. looking a little bulky. Alright, what have we got for his tail? Probably one of those horns. Horn or a helix. Gonna want to blend the tip of this in. I'm sure, this is only a zero point. I mean, you could see when they're relaxed, their, their tails are kind of straight down, but we can, we could just kind of, oh, let's try. Let's try this one, actually. Probably be something under there. That shape doesn't look really natural. Looks pretty good. Now, I, actually, now I'm thinking, I'm looking at these, and they kind of look m more like a camel. So we better double check. 
We better double check here. Giraffe. Okay, so they do, they do have two feet, two toes, but they look more like a deer's feet. Hmm. Let's see if we can get tricky with this. We're in a right clay form. Six. That looks that looks a little bit better. It's always it's always good double check. I mean it's not that big of a deal if you have to switch it in the end, but all right. So we're gonna want they have like a tuft of hair on the end of their um. We could use something like a horn, but it's not going to fit on there nicely. We're probably going to want to use a bunch of beans. A whole can of them, you could say. And we're going to want to follow the direction of the curve that we already have. Straighten it out a little bit. So we're just going to want to copy this a bunch of times and fiddle around with it. Put it in all different directions. Maybe make some of them a little smaller. So now I think we're going to want to get our materials on there. And then if we want to fiddle around with it some more afterwards. So we have our cactus material, the custom one we, we made before. But I think we're going to take a look at a couple different ones. So we can switch these colors to how we want. Uh, the accent color is much too dark. Probably want something. Uh, 
probably going to want the same color for the accent color more or less as the secondary color. What's cool about giraffes, you look at pictures of them, they all have very unique spots. A lot of them have different colors. And I think I do like this a little bit better than the cactus one. So I'll probably stick with this. Let's copy those properties. We're going to probably just apply it to everything for now and then we'll go back over um, individual things that we want different materials. Oof. We definitely want to avoid having this line anywhere visible if we can help it. Paste all the properties again. So for now I'm just looking at the neck to get more or less what I want. And then we'll have to the other pieces are all different sizes, so we're probably going to have to take a look at them individually. Kind of like how that looks. So these were going to want to be a mess of... And make it black. Kind of gives the illusion of depth. this to more more red a bit right. 
Now, when you look at them closer, let's take a look. Okay, so they have they have fur that goes down the middle of their back and the middle of their neck, and it's almost like not spotted here on their nose. It's more like furry. Uh, I mean, we could put another shape here. Or we could just leave it as spotted, but uh, I'm thinking... Maybe we can somehow... That, that kind of gives it the shape we want, like... Yeah, I think that's alright. Mostly lighter color. So I don't know if you just can't see their pupils or what, but they have like almost shark-like eyes, like just all pupil, it looks like. So hold on, let's start sectioning stuff off here. Grouping stuff together, so we're gonna name that head. Oh, didn't work. Click on it. Head. Neck we could just put in with the body.
back legs. And that's tail. Okay, now I'm gonna come back over here. We're gonna copy. Click on each of the eyes, we're gonna copy both of those. And we're gonna switch it to white. And we're gonna make these tiny tiny. Because if not, if you just left it all black, it's kind of lifeless, but you give it, give it a little white shine to give it a little bit more life to it. Alright. So the bottom part we're probably going to want to leave. gonna want to leave it in this material but then the next two beans we're gonna want to make we're gonna keep the same color but we're gonna make it in hay okay and we want it the hay kind of going towards the top which would be yeah there we go okay and then we need those little nubs We're gonna grab them, bring them back up to where our beans were. Uh, we're gonna take that same hay material, except we're gonna go much darker. I'm not gonna lie, these ears aren't working for me. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select all of this. I'm gonna try the hay with it. I'm gonna go a much lighter color. I like that. You're burning my house down. I like that. Um, let's see if we can. Because there's a bit of a line here. That looks a little bit unnatural. Let's see if we can just move that up a little bit. That looks a little nicer. We're probably going to have to move the tail now. Yeah. Oh. You're not part of the tail. You should be a body. Grab the tail. Just move it down slightly. these beans we're gonna want to be having hay as well go with their custom hay nice and easy <coughs> <coughs> well 
one thing about making custom materials it's nice when you go um, to select a material all your custom ones come up here on top so as long as you're not making a million of them then you have to scroll through them and it's kind of a problem um, if you if you have like you know a fair number of them you could just get to it a lot quicker even if you don't u use it like customize it completely it just allows you to select uh, a, a certain material if you'd like a lot faster so I'm gonna go all the way up Now, if you look at their fur, it, it does go to light with almost no spots underneath. So one thing we could do, I mean we actually kind of got lucky because there's not a lot going on underneath. Uh, we could just double up this shape and bring it down and then have uh, either a different material or, uh, you know, we could just kind of shift the play around with the colors a bit more if we want the same pattern. Alright, let's go... Let's play with the feet first. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go clay form. Zero, six. Hey, where did you go? It's because I was it selected something. It didn't contain it. Oh no, it's because you have to have the space. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so here we go. We're going to grab all our toes. Um, we probably want... Um, yeah, one of these, probably. I think I'll work nice. I want to play around with the make that a, a lighter color. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then what is this shape? Clay form nineteen. Form 19. Okay, so we're going to copy the properties here. Then we're going to select all these, paste properties here. it should be a lighter color still just a bit lighter let us save that color and then uh, clay form what was it clay form 6 The uh, no, wait. I'm just gonna click here, grab the third color. I mean, it's not gonna win any most amazing draft awards, but I think I think it looks pretty alright. We're gonna want to give it its main though. How are we going to proceed with that? 
And we're probably going to want to use hay as the fur. Um, we could do individual hairs, which would take a lot of objects. <laughs> or we could try and... I wonder... Let's try... Just using the sh same shape. Make it smaller. Make it way skinnier. So we want the hair going out that way. Okay. Nice. Nice! Alright, so that works so well. Let's try it with the body. smaller and then much much skinnier okay let's copy the properties here Well, sometimes you think something might be difficult, and then you realize just how easy it could be. Um, does it continue on to the tail? I mean, we could... It probably has a bit of a tough... T uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. legs could be a little skinnier. front legs oh what oh we're on the bear hold on wrong legs wrong legs foo um does that make sense alright that's exactly the ones we wanted
tail's probably a little bit too big too. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, I mean, I think the material can maybe be played around with to make it a little nicer. There's probably some materials that would work a little nicer than this that I'm, that I'm missing. Definitely tall. But yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that one. Alright, so we'll make this into a merge model. Name it Giraffe. Then we're go going to create new odd template. Just name it draft. And it'll be ready to go to community content. So, having said that, that'll be it for this episode. I'm going to take a, back, a look back through here. We got the draft that. All this is going to be added to community content, so if you guys are interested in using any of this stuff, you get to see all the names here. Um, we'll just close this for now. Don't save. This guy's Buzzy Tree. Um, so a trick I used for this tree is I made, I came down here to materials, made a custom material, and then that way I could use the tree's material onto these other objects. And then you can match up nicely with the rest of the tree. Um, in his mouth, I used a miss of black. Again, if, if you want to add some depth with kind of cheating it a bit, um, it's a good material for that. This guy is just a pretty simple little slug. He's, he's got the citrus material on him, which I find gives a nice um, textured, shiny look. And um, yeah, he was also from Commander Keen. Iago, um, pretty simple, straightforward build. He's got beans for uh, little hairs there. Got horns with a bean for his uni brow. Uh, his eyes were all spheres. A mess of colors for the eyes. Uh, I used the citrus material on his feet and his beak. Uh, the beak. Uh, yeah, citrus material. If you leave it on smart material, it al almost gets away uh, rid of all the little dots. 
so it gives you almost more of a flat color and it's very shiny uh, the citrus material so anytime you want something shiny it's a good one for that and uh, yeah as uh, as um, feathers and wings were almost exclusively peppers yeah all of them the whole, all the wings and I just doubled them up to get the blue tips here same for his um, tail I used peppers and just doubled them up to get the yeah yeah so generally if you're gonna use carpet you want to have the tiling fairly high so that it takes away some of the texture and kind of leaves you this nice fuzzy look to it. The bear we have uh, hay for, for the fur. Um, fairly straightforward build. Uh, the, the first thing I built was his snout here. Used a avocado and then I put two side shapes here clay form 21 to kind of have like a hollow mouth so I could put in some teeth and a tongue and such uh, as I mentioned earlier this was a lot of trial trial and error so just check in what different pieces worked like down here I used a urban vehicle storage rack um, that's a prop and then I just flipped it upside down and then changed the materials and then uh, all of a sudden I've got a nifty little um, landing system for my um, helicopter you can see here I got this is like a frame that normally goes over I guess like a pickup truck or something The interior, I use two vehicle uh, car frames that are that are flipped on their at on the x axis. And yeah, it was. I'm not really sure how. I'd have to look up closely how these kind of doors work. Um, so I just have this door opened if you wanted it for it to close technically this bar would have to push in a bit so when I closed this door I had to move this bar inwards you can see it's further in than this one so maybe there would be like a mechanism where these slide inwards I don't know I'm not an engineer I'm an artist what can I say um, yeah, this was a lot of fun to build though. Uses a lot of sci-fi uh, ship parts. You could see here, this would have been just a big, big red light. Then I put this prism and uh, put a, a metal material, metal grates. So it kind of cuts the light a little bit. And yeah, this building, I try to keep it simple. There's not, not, nothing in, on the inside. I could have built, instead of a, using a cylinder, you could use a pipe and then you would have it hollow inside. Um, I chose to build it more as like a background prop type thing. Um, I did put the pipe so you could technically put a portal to get from the bottom to the top there. But I didn't put a portal or anything in it. And yeah, this was from Space Cadet Pinball, which was a free pinball game on Windows back in the day. And yeah, I used a advanced cart and just repurposed. So one thing with the advanced cart, if you're ever going to um, change the geo, you have to leave the wheels intact. 
Um, you could delete everything else. Everything else is not important. You could delete the engine, the frame, everything. But the wheels always have to stay there. So one thing to get around that, if you don't want to see the wheels, is you just force the visibility off. So now I have it kind of like more of like a hover, like a hover car or a, you know a futuristic kind of like spaceship slash hover car, yeah. So I didn't want the wheels showing, but it's necessary to keep them intact. So yeah, I just forced the visibility on them off. And that will be it for this episode. So I hope you guys had fun. Hope you uh, learned something and we'll check you in the next episode. Share love out.